Everything is happening way too fast. Bitcoin is only $150 away from its previous all-time high, and you will not believe what the TBO, the trending breakout indicator, is telling us. The bull market started last week. More in this TBO Tuesday starting now. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron Dishner from The Better Traders, where I can teach anyone how to become a better trader. And you are not going to want to miss this video. Not only is Bitcoin heating up, but there is so much happening behind the scenes that everyone's waiting for the having to take action when you actually should have taken action last week. So I don't want you to feel like you're missing out. I do not want to incite FOMO, but you need to be aware of what is happening. And things are amazing. Looking at the price of Bitcoin, no duh, it's up a ton. We had our TBO breakout cluster that we've been talking about for the last four weeks, I believe, actually five weeks now. Let me see. Last eight weeks. You've had some time. Well, seven weeks. Last week alone, Bitcoin moved up 22%. This week so far, it's up 6%. We were literally just $150 away from the previous all-time high today. While it makes sense to see a small pullback, it's hard to ignore what's actually going on with Bitcoin. I want to show you something first without the TBO, just so you're not like, oh, okay, it's talking about the TBO again, the TBO, TBO. I'm going to show you, you don't need the TBO to make these <laughs> observations. When we measure the 2018 cycle retrace and the 2016 cycle retrace measuring from the top in time to when the previous 2018 and 2016 cycles reached their all-time high. This cycle looks like we're 36 weeks early. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we go back here, 2017, we have our top here. This is where it actually pushes above. So it's about 157 weeks. So that's okay. That's that's pretty good, pretty decent. Back here, we got 169 bars until we finally broke above. Now, here's the thing. In this market in 2016, when the price of Bitcoin, then a very immature asset, got close to the previous all-time high at 1163, it saw an amazing pullback of 34%. It moved up again, it broke above, and then it got rejected again, slapped down for another 34% only to continue moving up higher, okay? But remember that we had a significant pullback right right below the all-time high. And note the number, 34%. Now I want to zoom ahead to our 2020 market, our bull market specifically. When the price of Bitcoin was getting close to 20K, we actually saw a pullback, but it was not 34%. When the price of Bitcoin got up to 19490 like again, just like $400-ish, actually less than that, $300 away from the all-time high, we saw a pullback of 16% in a week. Now, it was just a quick dip, but it still happened. When we saw it get really close and test, again, another pullback of 11%. Note that as Bitcoin became more mature, four years older, the pullbacks were not as drastic. We saw a negative 30%, and in 2020, we saw 11%. So what does that really mean? Well, for one, we are basically right at <laughs> the all-time high. It makes sense to see a pullback. Now, will we see a pullback going 30%? No, we won't. Why? Because Bitcoin is so much more mature now eight years past or eight years beyond that 2016 market. Could it fall 11%? You know what? It could. That seems more reasonable to me. Um, and that would be exactly what happened in the previous 2020 market. But again, remember, we have BlackRock, we have Grayscale, we have Fidelity, we have ArcShares, we have all these entities buying more Bitcoin than is actually being produced per day. So part of me believes that while we're going to see a pullback, it might not be as big as you're hoping it will. So we are looking amazing. It's Kind of incredible, to be honest, to tell you the truth. Now, here's where things get even crazier with the TBO. So I just wanted to look at price action first. Now we're going to look at the TBO. I've been telling you for weeks, for literal weeks, ever since about here in November, I was saying, you guys, I know the price of Bitcoin is high at 37000 laughing now, aren't you? Um, 
but all four of the lines are moving up. It's a bullish sign. We had our breakout. I was going, hey guys, ding, 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 ding. Like this is a big, big buy signal. Like you have no idea. The price fell about 7%, only now to be up 60%. And we had two more breakouts. All four of the lines of the TBO are pointing up. This thing is on fire. Now here's, here's what I really want to show you with the TBO that's going to melt your face. When we look at a historical market back here, and we look at these TBO breakouts, note that this happened below the actually really, really, really far below the previous all-time high, okay? But we had a pullback to the fast line, and then it shot up higher. And we're looking at this breakout right here, not really close to that, but we still broke out higher. Actually, I want to switch the speed of this real quick to standard. There we go. Just to see if it makes, nope, it doesn't make a difference. That's okay. So we saw the breakouts accurately predict, even with a pullback of 38%, that was an excellent buy signal. Note, 2,460% growth. Back in the 2016 to 2017 market, when Bitcoin was a very immature asset, keep that in mind. Just keep, just think immature. The, the further back we go, the more immature it is. We have a perfect TBO breakout cluster. I, I defined a perfect TBO breakout cluster as three in a row. Those white dots right there. We saw Bitcoin increase after this. We saw it increase. I have to measure this out to be 100% accurate. Over the next 21 weeks, over 300%. Uh, we had kind of a fake out in the summer. So I know that it actually went up a lot higher, but I'm just going off of the initial burst. I'm, because once I see these TBO close longs, these blue dots, then I, that resets it in my mind. I don't pay attention to that. So really, we saw a 300% increase over 21 weeks. 321 weeks. Here's the thing. We literally printed a perfect TBO breakout on the weekly time frame with the standard setting last week. Now, if we want to be more aggressive, we can put it to the fast, which is what I usually do on the weekly. But it's pretty much the same thing. It started. We'll leave it on standard for now. But the bull market started. I don't care if we have a pullback. It started. So do you remember how much we increased from the previous bull market? Right back here. We increased 300% over 21 weeks. It's not a lot of time. Here's the thing. I highly doubt that we're going to see an exact move up 300% in the exact amount of time as we saw in the previous market. I am not expecting that to happen. If anything, I would say it's generous to even say a 200% return, which would put us close to 200K, which seems too high for several reasons. Um, 21 bars puts us at seeing the top in July, 2024. Again, a very odd time. We've never seen a top in the summer. Usually the summer is not a very good time for BTC. Maybe we might see something like this where we dip and we go up higher, but I don't know. Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't seem likely. So there's one thing I want to share with you. One more thing that's based off of price action. But for one, this is, if you wanted confirmation that we're bullish, I don't care if we see a little bit of a pullback. That's bullish confirmation on the TBO. Now, I want to show you this. When we look at, and I'm even going to go to the monthly, because I just want this to be super duper visible, okay? When we look at historical support and resistance levels, we're just going to get rid of that because it's not really useful right now. We have immediate resistance right now, this month at 90K. If Bitcoin were to miraculously shoot up and go past that, all of a sudden, we have immediate resistance. Sorry, trading view alerts. Yes, the market's going crazy. It's good trading right now. We have immediate resistance right now at $176,000. However, we have never, ever seen a new all-time high get even close to this line of resistance. Here's 2017, 2020, still really far away. So the max in this case, well, most likely we said like July-ish. The max, again, we're looking, I mean, if it touched, which would be very different, not impossible, but unexpected for Bitcoin, would be 200K. I don't see that happening. But time-wise, everything's happening 
way, 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 way faster than anyone expected. And because things are happening faster than expected, we need to be extremely cautious about trading against Bitcoin right now. If we look at Bitcoin dominance, I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but if we look at this, Bitcoin dominance right now is still bullish. I'm going to switch this to this, the fast setting on the weekly time frame. This looks great. We had a breakout. It's moving up higher. If this is a chart that I was trading, I would love this. But it's not. It's Bitcoin dominance, which isn't good. And it's not good because when Bitcoin dominance is bullish, then alts suffer. But when Bitcoin dominance is falling, alts rejoice. Alts are happy. Now I want to go back to the weekly time frame because when we look at Bitcoin's price action, where did this start? It started back here in November, or rather here, November 16th. And it took how many weeks to reach the all-time high? 21. If we go back to Bitcoin dominance and we go back here in this time, look, right there is where we peaked. And then we saw Bitcoin dominance fall like a fall like a rock, which is great because when Bitcoin dominance falls, then that means alts go absolutely crazy. But leading up to that time, Bitcoin dominance could increase a lot. We're seeing it fluctuate back and forth and it keeps sharing dominance with Ethereum and others. I've talked about this in great detail with our members, but what you need to know is that Bitcoin dominance is still bullish. However, when Bitcoin dominance really starts to fall specifically below 50%, that is going to be the signal that everyone's waiting for to take their Bitcoin profits and put into alts. And we're going to have another incredible alt season. I'm talking like, well, probably 18 weeks out, not that far away. So until then, it's extremely risky to trade against Bitcoin. It's much safer to trade against the stablecoin equivalents of these charts, like FUSD, GT, sorry, GST, USD, Pixel, USDT, instead of GST, BTC or FBTC. It's dangerous right now. It's not just Bitcoin that's bullish. Um, Ethereum is bullish as well. We have a breakout finally printed here on the weekly time frame. Ethereum's above $3,700. Congrats to all of you that have been watching it and buying it and waiting down here at around $2,500. So right now we're up about 50%. We're looking at resistance at about $4,700, $4,800. But look, similar story. We saw when Bitcoin got bullish, Ethereum got bullish too. It did came, sorry, it did fall back to touch the TBO fast line. But when it did, man, oh man, it increased a ton. So I don't expect another 1,200% gain for this asset. And we'll even measure it from here. Okay. We're going to measure it from there. So we're looking at a, a 10x. Let's just take 5x. 5x alone would put us up to about $22,000 per Ethereum. Not happening. I think a very generous goal this time around would be like $10,000. That's super realistic. I know that in the past it went up high, but that's because of the F2.0 staking and people were buying Ethereum like crazy to stake it for the F2.0 upgrade uh, to earn F on staking it. So uh, while this is very bullish, 20K is unlikely for Ethereum. But $10,000 seems very, very, very reasonable. Now, it's not just Ethereum. Other top 10 tokens are showing and flashing very bullish signs, specifically Cardano. Cardano is looking really good. Cardano has three TBO breakouts in a row on the daily time frame. This is an extremely bullish setup for Cardano. I've seen this happen and I've seen this flash all over the place. Even if just getting two and we get a pullback to the fast line, that's our entry for a big, massive move. Even Cardano in the history of this chart, when we see bullish price action, we're going to have to go back to October, November, 2020. Here we go. So no, when Bitcoin was rallying, going crazy in November, Ethereum during that time, or sorry, Cardano during that time really only grew about 70%. But when it flashed the breakouts, man, oh man, did Cardano rally. Cardano actually shot up an additional 900% after the breakout cluster in a bullish environment. That's where we are right now. 
So 900% is a bit unrealistic, in my opinion, again, but even just looking to the previous all-time high, that's at least a 2x, 3x. That's easy. That's super easy for a token like Cardano. Could there be pullbacks? Let me fix that. Will there be pullbacks? Yeah, there will be. But that's normal in this market. That's a good thing. These other tokens I want to share with you because they were requested by you and some of them I am sharing. Uh, So the first one is this one. I've seen lots of people asking questions about these types of tokens that are insanely oversold. This one from its all-time high of five cents has fallen down to fractions of a penny, literally lost 99.99% of its value. But yesterday, it shot up over 200%. Actually, yeah, way more than that because wick to wick, 450%. Is a token like this worth buying? No. A token like this that is insanely oversold will most likely not return to even its listing price. There is an extremely low chance of this happening. Just understand that there's some tokens that are super oversold that will return, that will pump, that will move up higher. But a token like HMTT, like if you wanted a risky, risky, risky play to put like a hundred bucks in down here, great. Now you're now you have 200 bucks. Good job. And if it moves up higher, wow, that'd be great. You have what, $33,000 from the $100. But no way should you ape into a position on a chart that's this oversold. It's completely different from a chart like GST. Now I'm giving something away right now and I, I I was debating whether to do it or not, but GST is actually one of the charts that I shared in my monthly watch list a while ago, actually back here in, I want to say January at least. When I shared this, the price of GST was at 0.012 cents. It has since shot up, well, it it moved up 1,100%. Right now, it's up at least 1,000%. Oh, sorry, 687%. A token like this could continue to rally and most likely will. There's no guarantees, but a a token like this without a problem could continue to rally in a bullish market like what we're seeing. When you're doing this, there's a difference between finding these super oversold tokens and the exchange matters a lot. I want to say this really clearly, Coinbase. If you go on Coinbase and find tokens that are severely oversold, they have a much greater chance of being pumped like we saw with GST. I know that for a long time, traders have avoided Coinbase like the plague, but remember, they are publicly listed. They are the custodian for many of the Bitcoin ETFs. They're not going anywhere. They're not. So if there's a low volume token that's pumping on Coinbase, instead of in years past, we would look at Binance, new Binance listings. I honestly think that we should be paying attention to Coinbase because this kind of pump that we're seeing right here on GST in one day so far up 300% massive. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is because again, it's on the watch list. So I I love this because not only does it benefit me, but it also benefits our members, which is fantastic. Got one of our guys, earned his 100%, made over five grand on this. Uh, We got another guy over here, Green Satoshi Tokens, been been good to me all day with AB Trading suddenly just a moment ago. With my total amount, the token went up $3,000, or sorry, well, 300%, but his his portfolio, or rather his free coins, which is something I teach in the account builders course, increased by 3,000%, which is great, or rather $3,000, which is awesome. That's exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for. And I think it could even go higher. From here, it's not such a good look. Thank you. Um, I would not want to get in right here. Thank you. Be, just because it's already pumped 300%. It's very risky to do that right now. However, there are tokens that haven't done this yet. I'm not going to share them here, but I, I've already shared them in Discord. And I just realized I was not sharing trading view. So I would not buy this token way up here at eight cents. This ship has sailed, but there are still many, many tokens in, specifically in the watch lists that I share in the memberships that have not taken off yet that most likely will because the market is just going that way. It's a very unique time in the market. The 
last one that you've requested is Pixel. Now, this one is on Binance. This is a new listing, which means that it is risky, but with a new listing on Binance and a chart that is holding its own so far, and it hasn't even dumped yet, which is amazing given the price action today, this is a promising chart. Someone requested it, and I think this is a nice one. Actually, I've already picked this one uh, for a watch list, but I'm not going to share which one. But this one is one I am watching for sure. It's very similar to Arkham. If you remember, I shared Arkham a while ago. Actually, I shared it with you after I shared it back on the watch list. I shared it with you probably back over here at like 60 cents or like 55 cents or so. It's up 330% right now. My portfolio is extremely happy and giddy right now because of this hold. When you find coins that are newly listed and that are just kind of chopping sideways, I don't care about the noise on the TBO. When you see this, it hasn't dumped. It's just chopping sideways and you get confirmation from the TBO, especially on the daily timeframe that you got breakouts. It might take some time for those breakouts to come, but boom, boom, boom. We got three in a row and the price shoots up 160%. It's crazy. The last one I want to share with you is BIT. BIT was actually a trade setup for the Better Traders memberships. So I shared this one actually yesterday, to be honest. Uh, and I didn't think it would pump this quick. But again, it's amazing because this is Coinbase we're talking about. And we're talking about AB trading on Coinbase. I would, I never would have thought that we could AB trade on Coinbase. But this one earned us a nice 30%. Again, I got people... And the memberships making money off of this BIT call, sorry, BIT call, which is great. Um, It's a wild market right now, absolutely wild. And there's a lot of trading to be had. I want to say this too, real quick. Just because Bit has already pumped does not mean that you just go, okay, you walk away. If a chart is giving, stay with it, milk it over and over. Stay with that chart as long as possible because as long as a chart is giving, stick with it, okay? For the same reason that um, whoever it was in the memberships, they were looking at GST and they were AB trading this chart, which is a great chart to AB trade, all the fun pumps and the dumps and all that fun stuff. So you accumulate GST through all this, like, you know, 1.013 cents and it gets up to 0.014 cents and then suddenly... All those tokens that you are accumulating down here are now worth 500% more. I'm telling you guys, there's uh, <clears throat> this market is wild. So if you want more TBO goodness, I don't blame you if you do, but if you do, you're going to go over to my public Discord server and I have a channel dedicated to TBO trading. I share... Tons of setups, tons of different strategies on how to use the TBO indicator, the trending breakout indicator. Um, There's a lot of stuff to learn from and how this thing is performed. It's crazy. And if you want access to it, you got to head on over to thebettertraders.com. The link is in the description of this video below, or just go to thebettertraders.com. Go over to memberships or click on TBO to look at the TBO itself. But the memberships, like the watch list I just shared with you or those two picks, um, the, there's too much. I'm actually going to stop myself. There's a lot of stuff in the memberships and we haven't like, there's more coming and I can't, can't say anything, but I need you to know that there's a lot of good stuff in the memberships. And this is the time to join a community of better traders. The bull market, it started. It starts this week, started last week. However you want to look at it, it's starting right now. And what you're going to do next is I have a playlist here on YouTube that is talking about AB trading. AB trading is one of the easiest entry level ways to crypto trading. And this is the time, just like that chart for GST that pumped up over a thousand percent. This is the time to trade charts like that before they pump to accumulate those tokens so that they're worth 500% more like I just showed you. So check out the AB trading playlist that I have here on YouTube. And if If you want more, go on over to thebettertraders.com. And wait, if you've watched this far and you haven't hit the like button or subscribed, I'm waiting. Thank you. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.